Japan has one of the world's lowest crime rates. Its conviction rate is more than 99%. Many give the justice system credit for keeping society stable. But it's also produced an alarming number of wrongful arrests and innocent people confessing to crimes they didn't commit. From Japan, Mariko Oi. Death threats in cyberspace. The first one was posted on a local government website in June last year. It warned of an attack on a primary school, threatening to kill all the children. Similar posts appeared for a few months, some targeting the emperor's grandchildren. The threats were not carried out, but four people were arrested. Two of them confessed. But then the real perpetrator sent an email stating that the police and prosecutors had arrested the wrong people because it was him or her who made those threats. So people started asking, why did the two people in custody confess to a crime that they didn't commit? Were they forced to make a confession? And could this have happened to anyone? It happened to this man 44 years ago. Shoji Sakurai was arrested for a robbery murder. He spent 29 years behind bars. There was no physical evidence, but his conviction was based on a confession, one he says he was forced to make. It took him another 15 years to win the non-guilty verdict. As soon as they arrested me, they treated me as a criminal. They interrogated me day and night, telling me to confess. After five days, I had no mental strength left, so I gave up and confessed. His claims are backed up by law enforcers who have sat on the other side of the interrogation table. Hiroshi Ichikawa was a prosecutor for more than a decade, but he lost his job after verbally abusing a suspect, forcing him to confess. I was under enormous pressure to get confessions. What I did was wrong, but I don't think I was some kind of monster. I've overheard other prosecutors yelling at suspects, and one of my bosses even boasted how he kicked the shin of suspect underneath the desk. It all happens behind closed doors. But changes are happening, not least because of the latest cyber death threat case. The Justice Ministry told the BBC that they've started recording some suspects' interviews. It was introduced for the newly implemented lay judge system, as citizen judges wanted to know if confessions were made voluntarily. Monica.